What's up, everybody? Jake Brown, Nelson Figueroa, Amazing But True Podcast, New York Post, here at City Field. Hashtag new at City. I like that. All the new food here, as you can see from the spread, absolutely iconic. Just anything and everything, Figgy, from chicken with honey glaze barbecue in a donut. Uh, we got empanadas. empanadas the classic. That, that's classic. The fuku, which would be a little spicy. I'm not going to do that. I'll leave the fuku to you. <laughs> the, the waffle fries with bacon bits and other concoctions. Pat LaFridas, yep. Pat LaFridas. We got this new, the hat, these pop-up bagels, which uh, will be at City Field this year. I believe they'll be in the suites, but they'll maybe work their way around the stadium. Excited to try that. We have these wings right here as Emma. well. Emma. Emma's Torch. Shout out to Emma's Torch. So, uh, sushi for you, too. Sushi. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Um, all right. Let's try first because I took a few bites before I'll take it on here. I, I couldn't resist. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I just couldn't resist. You're unbelievable. This, do you want to take a bite with me here? Not like, of the same one. Yeah, here, right here, right here. Why do we have seven of them? This looks just incredible. I mean, look at this. Honey. It's the glaze. Oh, the yeah. sauce. That's eight bites. Everyone knows the rules. Eight bites. Here we go. Eight bites? No, it's eight bites. Yeah, food, food babies. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's good sauce. Why are you moaning I'm, in my ear? Because I'm aroused. It's that good. It's absolutely tremendous, right? Yeah. Like the sauce adds a little flavor to it. I believe this is Jacob's Pickles. By definition, that's what a sauce does. Well, here's the good thing. Jacob's Pickles, if you know, has been at City Field, but this is a new sandwich. So, like, there will be your old favorites, the staples, with new additions. I like this because there's no pickles in it. I'm sorry to Mr. Pickle, Mr. Jacob Pickle. I'm not a pickle guy. So, no pickles, no problems in the Brown household. 9.7. 9.7? I think what we'll do is a scale from salad to chicken parm. So... Chicken parm, great. Salad. And in the middle, what would be in the middle? Like uh, grilled chicken or? Stay with your 9.7. Right, You're going to make it way too difficult. A chicken parm. That was really good. That All right, really let's good. do it. I'm going to do the hat. Do you got one? The uh, the hat. The bagel. Yeah, the pop-up bagel. A pop-up bagel. It's basically a pizza bagel. And if you don't like pizza bagels, you don't like America. Uh, so <laughs> You were raised by Cheers. Wolves. Mmm, it's got the little bagel underneath. If you're a little everything bagel fan, sorry for chewing my mouth open. It's can't help it. I think the problem is if we waited too long. It's real cold now. Can you chew first and then talk? No. I'll talk like right. outstanding. Takes you back to your childhood when you used to get home. You know, latchkey kid that I was. Get home before mom got there, and you'd be able to put it in the toaster and then put some cheese. A little bit of sauce on it and made your own pizza bagel. That's really, really good. I like that. Simple like that. but delicious. Rating? Rating will go seven. It's, a pizza, it's a pizza bagel. 7.0? 7. 7.0. 7. Not sponsored, but I got to wipe it down with a DC. A little Diet Coke. <laughs> you need to wipe it down. Shout out right? to Cooj. You know Cooj. <laughs> all right. I'm going up and bro. All right. That's all you. <laughs> That's an empanada fan. So what? We'll let Figgy do this review. Mama's. What is inside of there? Actually, that doesn't look that bad. You know what? Screw it. I'll try an empanada. Let's make history. Jake Brown tries an empanada. Not a meat one. This looks like a breakfast one. Oh, even better. Eggs and cheese. Good. That flaky crust. Got a mac and cheese in there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Very good. The problem is I just have my wisdom teeth out, so all I've been eating is mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. So I've had enough mac and cheese for a lifetime. But very good. I'll give it a 7.4. Again, these have been sitting a little bit, so I think at, at the peak of the mountain when they're warm, it'll rise to an 8.4. All right, where are we going? Let's do wings. We got one wing for each of us. I wanted that one. Too late. You do the thigh. <laughs> Damn it. That's not a thigh. This is a thigh. That's a. What are you talking about? What is this? It's a chicken wing. Yeah, but it's it's a thigh, right? You, do you hear yourself talking? I know it's a chicken wing, but it's it's shaped. <laughs> it's, 
It's a shape and a thigh. No, this, no. This isn't a thigh. It's just a wing? That's just a wing. All right, whatever. <laughs> now, what is this? This is who, who? Emma's Torch. Emma's Torch. Emma's Torch. Shout out to them. New at City Field. Wow. We had everything but napkins, and now I got smudge all over me. Past the napkins. I got yeah, yeah. One, one of us one came, each. One of us came 30 that. food items, but one napkin. I'm trying to think of what the flavor is. There's, a, pic a, there's a pickle flavor in it. it tastes pickle. Really good. That's really good. Good. I'm, again, not a pickle guy, so I don't know if I, I like the flavor as much as you. What would you, you give this? Regret. You'll never regret flavor. It's messy, too. I'm going to give it 7.5. Wings Oops. are hard to mess up. Yeah. All right. Where do we go to next? Let's see. Let's go to this thing. Tang, it's called. I thought it was Tango at first, but it is Tang. Tang Korean Restaurant. Ah. It's a little bowl of beef concoction with things inside. Good, good. I'll let you finish off on that. Some rice in there. Do you like rice? I like rice. Oh, the after thick is very good. I'll give it six point nine. Everyone's favorite rating. You want to try that? No. You want to share pork? No. We're well, co-hosts. I'm going to share pork. I'm going different. I'm going a different direction. All right. Here. What do we go to next? Like totally different direction. Uh, mini taco. This is from. Who's this from? Do you remember which booth this was? Uh, it's not Taco Bell. Um. <laughs> All I know is it, it's great, but it's tiny. Yeah. Let's try the taco. We should have did better at getting the names of these things. We're sorry. You'll know when you see mini tacos. That's where you're going to go. Yeah. And by the way, the flavor is phenomenal. All right. I'll try it. I already tell it's, I'm not going to be the biggest fan. Wow. We'll see. What is that thing? Not 4.4. He's got the wrong one. I think it's a little spicy. We've got... What's the matter, Jake? You can't handle a little spice? Oh, I need some I need some Diet Coke. Absolutely delicious. Try them. All right, that'll be on the deleted scenes. Uh, <laughs> Last one, Jake. All right. That is Pig Beach Barbecue, which we have in Astoria as well. I'll do a little Pig Beach action. Of course a little Pig will. Beach. I've actually lost a good seven pounds, so I'm pa I'm bringing it back on right now. Where'd you, where'd you find it then? In my face. You? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pig Beach. Shout out to Pig Beach. I took the pickle out of there. Of course you did. Ruined it. It's a little fatty. It's like. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Yeah. I've had pig beets, but I've had like ribs. I haven't had this concoction. I like the word concoction. Um, <laughs> right along with your little fatty comment. Mm. How's that feel in your mouth? Good. Oh. It's really good. Yeah, this fatty feels good, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's very delicious. It's got a little flavor. I'll give that an 8.1. Wow. Yeah. So wait a minute. So you started out with a 9.7, wasn't it? <laughs> Your first one was a 9.7. Nothing tops the donut thing, the uh, Jacob's Pickles. That's still on the leaderboard. Um, these they've had before. This is Pat Lafrida's Waffle Fries Bacon Bits. You can share Closet. this. I'll just get all bacon, nothing else. Give me Waffle Fries and Bacon. And Mets baseball in 2023 here at the beautiful city field with the new massive, massive hearts. Let's just get a glimpse of the scoreboard. Just get, you know, we, we see part of it. We're here in the uh, Caesar Club restaurant. Yeah, the big white part. That's Yeah, that big white sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah, beautiful addition to city field. 
the new speakeasy, the Cadillac speakeasy is fantastic. We'll find our way in there somehow at some point. We don't have twenty five thousand dollars to give, but we will make our way there. We know people. We know a couple of people. Mm. Good. Bacon good? Yeah. Can't go wrong with bacon. Can't go wrong. 8.8. Dick's ratings. All right. Should we go to dessert? I think we have to have this. We have to end on dessert. You you have that one. I'm going to have that one. Nope. I'm going to have this one. Oh. It's like a milkshake. How do you? Cheers. Biggie's milkshake does bring all the boys to the yard, folks. Awesome. This is like an Oreo donut with icing. Do we know where this is from? Did we find that out? No. You never look better than smudge all over your I don't, I, ugly face. I don't like when you say smudge. Smudge. Yeah. Kibitz. Get the pastrami and kibitz. <laughs> That's good. Wow. You know, if I want to do ice cream, I'm gonna have to bring my lactate pills with me to City Field. But if I want to have a donut, I think I don't. Th I think I go without the lactate. I gotta be careful saying the word lactate. It's like you mess up a letter. You know, uh, <laughs> this is tremendous. Wow, good, right? Yeah, I you try that too. Think about it. Because the That's Oreo nice. adds the. Uh, Oh, uh, Oreo, what is that? I've never had an Oreo. This, yeah, but with a donut? Or a you never, donut. Have you had it with a donut? No. 9.3. This oh, is, my God. This and in the, in the fried, the chicken biscuit donut. That's fine. You go 9.3. Only three. fitting donuts in the leader board I'm for not going my fat ass. Listen, sweets are good, oh. but no way 9.3. Oh. Tremendous selection. I mean, there's a little bit of everything. The new... Different vendors that are here. Shout out to them. Um, it, it's going to be a magical season. Uh, Jake has to try one last thing before we leave. This is a uh, Mr. Matt chocolate bar. I'm Pretty not cool. a chocolate guy. No, no, like, oh, that's I not like what you're trying. Oh, no. Oh, listen, I've had sushi before. Jake but gets what is in it, though? What is on the ask, outside? Don't ask what is in See, sushi. the green one, I'm not going to like. Sure, go for that one. What's the outside? You'll see. If this is spicy. No. No spice. You know, the, you know, hard to get stop laughing. You know the thing on TikTok with the little kid going, <laughs> and it's not the sushi. I'll give you that. It's not the sushi. It's just he's never had that kind of sushi. Texture okay. Flavors are all right. It comes it's in later. Tuna. It's like Players. a delay a game penalty. Yeah. It's like yeah. five yards were tacked onto the play. Uh, that was two enough for sure. Everything else on top of it, I'm not really sure about. But uh oh, uh, I think it was the avocado in there that doesn't do well with me. Whatever the the green avocado. things don't do well. Yeah, um, they're called vegetables. Four point four on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, well, this is New at City. Try out the new food this year. A lot of good things. Well, do a round around the ballpark. Like, get here early. At least look where everything is. And if not, ask your tour guide, Jake Brown, and the Amazing But True podcast. Jake, Figgy, Mondays, Thursdays, new episodes, Amazing But True. Live podcast after the home opener. Catch a story. We'll see you there. New York Post. See you at City Field in 2023.